Hello everybody and welcome back. This is the revival series of my channel and today we are going to create a new character in World of Warcraft Warlords of Draenor actually. I forgot to say that, god damn it, the name of the series. Oh god. Alright, so I decided to take on another playthrough of World of Warcraft, but today we are starting with Warlords of Draenor, the latest expansion. Yes, I am playing on a private server, it's called Firestorm. Uh, a link will be in the description if you want to go check it out. Um, if you want to play, I'm on uh, the European English server uh, on the realm called... Wait a second, Gromash. So if you want to join me, come on to Gromash on Fire Firestorm server and we'll have a great, great time. Uh, okay, I do have to say that it is a bit buggy. I've tested it out, as you have seen with that uh, level 15 warlock. It is buggy, but we're gonna have a bunch of fun, uh, because this game's are about having fun. I am going to roleplay this shit out, um, and we're going to create something quite opposite from uh, our good old undead mage friend from my first series. Um, we are going to be a... anything. Goblin. Uh, I don't really like anything about the goblin. Everything seems too small. You know, something like an engineer would have worked far better than, uh, or a hunter for that matter. Hunter, I think, is the class that a co goblin should play. Um, a goblin race was forced to mine, catch a mite, or, uh, out of the enemy, a bit more to shadow. I mean, don't do it when it's time to be the air adventure, blah, 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 blah. Right, so, um, we're gonna go with, uh, should I go with the blood of paladin? I don't know. I think I'm gonna go with an orc because it is Warlords of Draenor and an orc warrior perhaps that sounds like the thing um, an orc mage wouldn't be an orc shaman that's classic but also the orc warlock is a classic I've already played the warlock so I've seen how it behaves let's play the, the shaman no 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 no, no oh, I don't know I'm really undecided Maybe I should go with the with the shaman and see how it behaves, and it's probably going to be, be lovely. So, uh, skin color, skin color. Uh, we're gonna go with the deep, uh, the dark green one because that's my favorite. And uh, let's see here. Um, the face, something not <laughs> completely aggressive. Yeah, this one. No, he needs to be a shaman. So. Yeah, that's that's good. Hairstyles. Okay, uh, this is the classic thrall style hairstyle, so I'm gonna go with that. And um, yeah, he's an old old shaman. Um, facial hair. Let's see. This one looks nice with that little iron uh, thing, iron ornament right there. This looks rather stunning. I think I'm going to go with uh, this one. Although this is quite warrior-ish. Maybe this one... Uh, yeah, this one. This one is great. And we're gonna go with the name of... Why not Gromash? Why the hell not? It's the name of the... Oh, no, it's not... Um... Okay, um... Grok... Nok... I have no idea, I just created that on impulse. Okay, let's jump in the game and see what it has to offer. Alright, here we go, here we go, here we go. Um, we're here in the Valley of Trials. Uh, it's a lovely, lovely place. Uh, things haven't all uh, have, have completely loaded from what I can see. So, so. Uh, let's speak to this guy because it has that magical. Uh, what do you mean? Yeah. Finally! You are of age, Grognok, of age to battle in the name of the Horde, to conquer for the glory of the War Chief. Yes, Captain looks over. You look, you, you will do nicely. No doubt you wish to find a great dragon or demon and strangle it with your bare hands, but perhaps it would be wise to start on something less dangerous. <laughs> Report to Grog Gornek. He should be able to assign a task better suited for to a young shaman. You will find him seated at a fire behind me. Go forth to victory. 
All right, so let's talk to Gr Gornik. Um, hi there, Gornik. The man of Charles will temper even the weakest into a warrior worthy to join the horde. Those who cannot rise to its test will be left to bake in a scorching desert sun. Another one of Kaltung's recruits, hmm? A sorry state of affairs we find ourselves in. If this is the best the horde can produce, no matter. By the time we think you're ready to leave, by the time we, by the time we think you're ready to leave Valley, you will be a proud shaman of the horde. I don't know why I'm so dramatic. Uh, the first order of business will be to you will be more of more use to us slaughtering the boars you will find in the farms to the north and northeast of here. So we need to kill Go six uh, mortal boars. Uh, yes, I'm s I'm setting my experience rate to one. This is a server where you can do this. You can actually set your experience rate. You can play any way you like. Uh, finding uh, people who also play on ex XP rate one is going to be interesting. But anyway. Um, let's go. Somebody died here. Exit Kaneova. That's not an Orkish name. She must be adopted. Alright. Let's go ahead, uh, kill some mortal bells. I like the animations, the new animations that came with World of the or the new models. They did, uh, everything is much, much nicer. I do like how, how they changed the design of the game a bit. Uh, they haven't upped the resolution of every single um, texture, but I do believe it is quite a nice, um, quite a nice uh, update, a new addition to to what used to be and what is. Now. Anyway. Um, So we have still three boars to, you know, slay. I'm gonna pause the video and we'll resume after I've done. Alright, this quest is ready for turn in. We are going to go right now and uh, take care of it. Deliver the, the, the news to, to back to Gro, 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 Gro neck. It's standing right there. <laughs> oh god, I'm still sleepy. So please do, I apologize for any moans I'll give um, during what this video. Cutting teeth! Okay. Hmm, not bad, Grognok. But don't let it get to your head. You'll fight tougher boars in your than boars in your career. Nonetheless, you've proven yourself well. And your next trial will be against a considerably more dangerous opponent. So you'll need some extra protection. That's why I give you a boar hide pelt. Ironically, it's made out of boar hide. <laughs> just uh, equip that. All right, you're not just another grunt. You seem to be a serious shaman. Good, because you—that's exactly what I need. Try not to let the w let the word out, since I don't want to cause a panic. But there have been reports of humans, of more humans nearby. This is an uh, egregious betrayal of the peace that we negotiated with that miserable chain of proud war. We can't allow humans here in Durotar, it's, and especially not here in the valley. You will find them to the south. Slay them quickly before their numbers increase anymore. Go with honor. Not all the quests do work on this server, I just remember that. There's a bunch of bugged quests, uh, the scripting is not done particularly well. So I am going to put my experience rate back to 5. Uh, and of course it is also the matter that I want to post that through the content and show you exactly what Warlords of Draenor because this is the story of this character. This character's story, main story, happens during the Warlords of Draenor and not during any of, uh, of any of the other expansions. He was there fought there but he's he he was like it was a character in the back seat while other, other other characters were stronger than him and during world of draenor he is the protagonist of our story uh as i said this is a revival project for my channel so expect more videos expect this series to not only continue but expand as in after i finished with world of draenor 
and that is to say also the raids and the dungeons um, everything that's new every single bit of content of story wise content uh, I am, after I've delivered that I am going to return to the old expansions and do a great report each one with another protagonist another character who went through the same process as uh, Grocknock did but at the same time it's different and it's uh, it's doing his own stuff hit the shaman I do have a night elf hunter for Wrath of the Lich King actually for vanilla I have a uh, I have a plan to make a uh, blood elf uh, bloody hell a blood elf um, blood elf paladin for uh, Aura Mage Blood Elf Paladin on a I'm still not uh, decided for the Burning Crusade. Uh, then again, it's not going to all happen in the, their original versions. So don't get me wrong, I'm not just gonna search for like the best Burning Crusade server and play only on that. Uh, or the best Classic Lisp server. The, the, of course, everything is on private servers. But, for example, Vanilla, Burning Crusade and Wrath of the Lich King, all three happen uh, at the point in which the game was at its 3.3.5 version Wrath right of the Lich King. But I am only going to record and create a story for that particular time span. For the time span in which they were part of, uh, of uh, their specific time spans. The Burning Crusade happens when the Burning Crusade happens. Uh, the Blood Elf is going to be a major character in the story just for the content that appeared in the Burning Crusade, including the vanilla uh, content. But then again, um, I will not record, I will just, uh, I mean, I will record everything I play, but it's not going to be a part of, of the canon story. For example, we all know that the classic dungeons, the like dungeons from the vanilla, were completed by our guy by the night elf that came before during the vanilla time when the gates of, um, of silver moon city opened and uh, people knew about the blood elves the blood elves came back from the from the shadows uh, that's when uh, that's basically when um, our new story begins with a leveling zone a new leveling arc for the for the horde uh, that's why I don't explore the Horde side of the Eastern Kingdoms because I, I'm leaving that for the, the Blood Elf character. I'm doing this uh, on the Horde side for the, for Kalim on the leveling arc for Kalimdor because I'm not going to do another one the same. This is the Worlds of Draenor and we have an Orc. In Cataclysm we have a Human Paladin. In um, Wrath of the Lich King We'll have a Death Knight, um, more particularly, I don't know what race exactly, but it's going to be definitely a Death Knight. Um, before that is going to be the uh, Blood Elf Paladin slash Mage. And um, uh, then, uh, while all this happens, I will also start releasing videos with the um, uh, vanilla series of the Night Elf. Uh, about the Night Elf is going to be an interesting story. I'm going to make a separate video about that. But uh, so don't, don't uh, worry yourself too much with that. Uh, episodes will be about 20 minutes long. I, tr I will try my best not to exceed the 25 minutes Low mark on. because afterwards they're going to be too long. So here we are. We returned. We are Gornek and we are uh, completing invaders in our home. Executed with quickness and discretion. Our job well done. So we have a scout hunter vest. That's quite. Uh, I must send you back into the fields again, shaman. You will find the large numbers of scorpions northwest of here. Bring me eight of their tails. The antidote for their sting is actually made from venom extracted from their stingers. We keep large quantities of antidote for scorpion venom on hand to heal young bloods just like you. But I'm sure you won't be needing any of that, will you? Alright, so we need to get Scorpid Tails down in the desert. Uh, also, there's this rune inscribed Parchment. Uh, ah, while you were gone, a parchment came for you, Grocknock. Read it when you have the time. I'm, if I'm not mistaken, it came from the shaman trainer Shikrik. She would have words with you when you're ready. Well, I do have some time. For Slaying Scorpids is not that big of a deal. So let's go and talk to, to the Shaman Trainer, uh, Shikrik. 
she's right here. Uh, let's see what she has Glory to tell us. To the horde. You will be. <laughs> what the hell was that beyond voice? Zuck, zuck. You will be on the con. You will be called the conduit in which our ancestors communicate. You will have the power of the elements at your back, and back and call. Thundering your enemies will be child's play. Healing your allies as easy as breathing. Keep these things in mind as you face new challenges and become, and come back to me as often as you'd like. I will remain here to teach you no sh new spells and set you on the correct path when you are ready. As you grow in power by gaining levels. What the fuck, man? <laughs> Talking about breaking the fourth wall. You will discover the power of to use new abilities. The first you will discover on your journey is Primal Strike. You use it to deliver a strike with your weapon infused with the power of the elements. It is time to learn and master your new skill. Practice using the blah blah blah. Farewell. Right, so I need to practice three times Primal Strike on one of these dummies. Then we're gonna go and kill the the, the scorpions, and it's gonna be lovely time. <coughs> so let's let's um. It's not really a powerful thing, Primal Strike. I can't cast that yet. Right. I can't cast that. Come on, yet. one more time. One more time, big guy. That's Come on, you can do it. Charging. There you go. There you go. That a boy. Okay. Uh, let's go ahead and uh, complete this quest, and then proceed to kill the Scorpions. Look, Tar. Very well. Now that you have. Now that you know how to speak with the elements, we will test up your bond with them. Go with us. Thank you. I'm level 4, which is great. Um, let's see here. The vest and the gloves. I do look more like a hunter right, right now than, than anything else. Anyway, uh, Foreman Tazriel has a quest for us. Cursed peons, they work hard gathering lumber from the east of the valley. But they're always taking naps. I need someone to help keep the peons in line. You look like the right orc for my task. Here, you take this blackjack and use it on the lazy. Speak Any lazy well. peons you will find sleeping on the job. A good smack will get them right back to work. Return the blackjack when you're done. Look for them underneath the trees in the valley. Lousy slacking peons. May your blades never dull. Alright, so we did that, and uh, now we're gonna go ahead and complete the remaining quests here. We need to awake four peons that sleep on the duty, and kill and uh, gather actually eight scorpion tails. So, uh, this is going to be rather not unimportant and rather boring for you guys to, to look at. So, um, just to make sure that I get into the 20 minutes match, I'm gonna pause the video. Kill everything, complete all the quests, and we'll be back in a couple of uh, seconds. We'll see you guys again in a couple of seconds. Alright everybody, we're back! Uh, I completed uh, the Sing of the Scorpion quest. Of course, uh, it seems that most of the peons are already awake. Which means that uh, they will have. I'll have to wait for them to respawn. And uh, respawn, you know, as lazy and unawake. Because there's a bunch of, of players... I don't know how many, let me just look how many people, there's 49 people uh, online at the moment, I guess, I think. That's how many people this thing found, apparently, but there's probably more of them. Anyway, uh, let's go ahead and talk with Gornek, complete this quest, and then uh, move on. Draw on. Alright, I have no more, uh, yeah. There is an important lesson that you must take away from fighting scorpions. The smallest or largest of opponents can still send you to your doom. In fierce combat, any number of things can prove that you're downfall. <sighs> Sorry. I have no more to teach you, Grognok. You have done well, and I will watch your progress with interest. Damn. So that's the last lesson from Grognek for us, and we have a pair of pants. That's great. Pants are important. Look, right. strength and honor. Vile boots. Finally, some boots. Uh, I trust the Valley of Toils will teach you much, young shaman. 
I was sent to the valley to guide you, but I have discovered a growing taint here. One of the burning blade, a foul demon worshipping cult, has made camp here in the valley of trials. He skulks, he skulks in a cave to the north, and his vile familiars have spilled from its mouth to cause havoc. As your first task against the burning blade, I bid you defeat these familiars, slay many, and if you survive, return to me. Go forth to victory. Oh my god, acting every single bit of story questing is really hard. Right, so we, we passed we pass the 20 minute mark. Uh, I will have to end this episode here. In the next episode, we are going to wake up the bloody peons that are, uh, you know, uh, always sleeping. The And kill some vile familiars and take care of the burning blade agent here in the Valley of Trials. Uh, demon worshipping is quite a bad thing, so we need to stop it. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. Please like, share and subscribe and I'll see you guys next time. I've been Michael and you've been watching the new series of uh, Sagas and Stories channel, Worlds of Draenor. Hope you enjoyed.